Hello, my name is Steve Herman, and I'm the author of Mediumship Mastery, The Ultimate Guide. This is my book on mediumship development and unfoldment. It's available on Amazon. And the whole purpose of this YouTube channel, which this video is part of, is mediumship development. So if you're interested in mediumship development, what do you want to do? Smack that subscribe button below if you haven't already. I'm going to talk about mediumship development today, an aspect that takes place a lot of times with mediums at all stages of development. It takes place a lot of times with people who are very new, inexperienced. And let's face it, the more you work with the spirit world, ideally, your confidence is going to increase, isn't it? Your attunement is going to strengthen, and your ability to express what the personalities in the spirit want to convey through you is going to massively improve and expand. Because mediumship, it's, it's, uh, there's always growth that takes place with it. But we have our analytical mind, and our analytical mind tends to really get involved. And I teach a lot of workshops with mediumship. I work with students at all levels of unfoldment. Some of them are professionals or very experienced for decades working, and others are novice. They've never really done anything with it, or very little in many cases. And, you know, the spirits, they work with us along a certain, <clears throat> certain, a certain line uh, based on what we experience, based on our frame of reference, based what's in our own head. So we're going to find ourselves as mediums becoming very comfortable receiving certain types of information and uncomfortable receiving other types of information. And in, my, in, in the classes that I run and in, in my programs for mediumship development, I really try to make students, I, I try to empower them, but I try to really make them work in areas that they don't feel confident about, that maybe they need to get a little bit more experienced with you know, because they're really strong clairaudiently and then you work with them clairvoyantly, their, their weak area, if that's the case. And But it's not just how the information comes through, the mode of communication. It's also the type of information. Now, certain types of information intimidate mediums. For example, as an individual, you know, perhaps you're working as a medium and you just feel a little bit not so com comfortable or confident in receiving names from the spirit world. That's pretty common. So sometimes I'll be working with a group of students, and I'll have them receive names. Now, what's going to happen as a medium when you're working? And let's say you have to receive a name from the spirit world. What you're going to notice happen is automatically, analytically, your mind will start to get in the way. Just a little bit, but that little bit that gets in the way, that starts to analyze things, that starts to think about things, that maybe feels a little bit hesitant about it, that's when you get in the way and you block the connection with spirit and you block the information from coming through from the spirit world. So you don't want to do that. It's not just names, it's numbers as well. You know, I might, I, I've been doing some exercises lately with students involving numbers, receiving dates, receiving numbers, license plate numbers, ATM, passwords, credit card numbers, a lot of success with these types of things. And you can train your mind to get that type of information. And I'll tell you, I'm very artistically oriented, very abstract often with my thinking, even though I'm intellectually oriented. So when it comes to numbers, that's on a personal level, that's a bit more of a challenge for me just because of the way my mind works. And, and, and what happens with someone who has that type of background, maybe they just don't feel so comfortable with numbers, is their analytical mind will start to get in the way. So I'll be working with different groups. I'll have them do an exercise. You know, maybe they're supposed to get certain numbers. Well, their mind starts to get in the way. And then automatically they block the information from coming in. So I really try to encourage students to be spontaneous, to instantaneously just give the information out, convey, articulate, verbalize what they're feeling, what they're sensing, what they're seeing, and just put it into words the best they can without pausing, without thinking too much about it. 
being very, very direct, because the analytical mind can get right in there. And we need our analytical minds. But when it comes to mediumship, you have to be able to step aside and you have to be aware of what's coming in. And, you know, these certain types of information, we ask for things. Like, let's say we had you tune in and to get the information, let's say, how much currency the individual had in their purse or in their wallet. Maybe you're working with someone, a recipient. How many of you would, as a medium, maybe you're very good as a medium, they can really flow through you, bring the stuff through accurately through you. How many of you would start thinking about and get in the way? And that's going to block them from being, it's preventing them from putting that information into your head when you start to do that. But if we were to go further with the currency, well, there's a number on that currency, isn't there? And can you read that number? You know, can you can you give the serial number of, of the particular, you know, the ten dollar bill that's in that person's wallet? So you can you can get that kind of information. But you're going to notice that your analytical mind will start to get in the way, and this is what we want to work past. So what I'm talking about right now, this is just some ideas for you to think about with, within your own mediumship and to work on. Your, your, your helpers know where you're at, you know, whether it's names or, you know, dates, numbers, letters, it doesn't really matter what it is. Your mind is capable of receiving it. Now, you train at it, you work at it, you know, you program your mind to be receptive for a certain, a particular type of information. I can guarantee you, your team of spirits, they'll start to give you that type of information. So thank you very much. For watching this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have any comments, any questions, you know, feel free to comment below. Please hit the like button. Please smack that subscribe button. And certainly keep in touch because I have a, a lot of courses of study and I'm really into the teaching aspect. And most importantly, I'm, I'm really into helping individuals with their growth. So God bless you. Thank you so very much for watching this video.